Hello everybody. So unfortunately, I think that RetroArch 1.9.1 doesn't work very well out of the box on Linux at the moment, and I think it needs to be fixed. I think this is it's partly broken. So let's look at a fresh RetroArch install on this machine. Again, this is Linux Mint 21.3. I have yet to update to 22. I will do so soon. Um, but I open RetroArch and this is what I'm greeted with. So the first thing that confuses me here is that this is not the Ozone menu. And actually a couple years ago, RetroArch switched to the Ozone menu as its default. So I'm a bit confused. Why is this now the menu that I'm greeted with? But you know, the XMB is a wonderful menu. I started using RetroArch in January, 2018 on Linux and Windows. And back then it was, this was the default. And I really like this menu. So everything's cool, no problem. The second thing I see though, I'm gonna go to full screen for you guys, is that the core, the, the fonts are not properly loaded. Like we see this, this default font, but I wanna see the nice font that I usually get when I, you know, when I use RetroArch. So obviously most of us know that at this point in order to get the nice font, we go to the online updater and download assets. This is just a quick Google away this answer and it is the standard solution for this kind of problem. We've all known this for many years. This is for me, at least this is muscle memory. So I go to online updater and I go update assets and it downloads the assets file. Cool, everything's hunky dory and then it's done and nothing happens. So that confuses me because normally what should happen here is that RetroArch restarts and then the fonts are there and everything's fine because you know it downloads the assets, then it restarts to implement the assets and everything's working, but that's not happening right now. So I'm wondering why, why is it not working? So I did some poking around and what I found is that if you go to directory, you can see that the assets directory is actually user share lib retro assets. And this is not a user writable directory. Like if I, if I open RetroArch with root privileges, then I can write to that directory, but that kind of defeats the purpose of all kind of security on Linux. So why, why is it that directory? That's really, that's really weird, right? Um, and then I go further and I see that the core info files are also st stored in user share lib retro info. And again, it's it's not a it's a read-only directory, right? So we see that all the other stuff exists: BIOS files, downloads, standard backgrounds, all this other shit, right? That is all saved in in my local home directory in .config, right? So at at the very least, this is inconsistent because why why isn't everything stored in user share lib retro? And at the worst, I I would argue that this breaks parts of RetroArch because I can't use it like that. There's no warning. Like if I if I use the online updater to, to try to update stuff, it doesn't give me a warning. It doesn't say fail to un unzip the file or anything like that. It just doesn't do anything, right? So as a normal user, let's say I'm a, I'm a user that comes from Windows, right? Like I know that I have Windows 10 on my PC and I know that by uh, the end of 2025, that's not gonna be supported. So I'm better switch to Linux now and I wanna use RetroArch. So I look it up and like, hey, there's a PPA. I can install it from the PPA. Nice, I install it and then it doesn't work. Like that's, you know, that's not cool. <laughs> um, so here's the thing. Here's the second thing I discovered. If I go to configuration, or first, let me show you something. I go back to directories right here. Now, the next thing that's confusing is if I press the start button on the controller, then it resets it to the default. And all of a sudden, the default is not, is this the default? Because that's not what RetroArch came with when I first installed it. I mean, it's cool because now I can install the assets. That's fine. I can do the same thing here for core info. Same thing, right? Well, 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 this is hunky dory. So I can go back to the online updater and I can go to update assets. And now we can see it downloads the assets and then it's going to restart. And look at that. It worked. This is, this is the intended way this is supposed to work, right? So problem solved, but we need to know how to solve this. This is how you guys solve this problem. Now there's a second way to solve this problem. And I, I would say this is even more con this, this adds to the confusion. If you go to configuration file and you set you, you, here, you select reset to defaults, then two things happen. First, the controller stops working. So I go back to the keyboard. 
This is a Logitech F1, uh, F310 F3 controller. I quit RetroArch and I restart RetroArch. And now this is the default. Like we're back to the ozone menu, which is cool, which is what I'm used to. This is what I wanted. This is what I expected from all the years of using RetroArch. This is fine, right? And also, let's see if the controller now works. I don't think it's still, yeah. Now actually it starts working again, so that's good. And now I go to online update and now let's go to settings directory. And all the directories are fine now too, right? Like this is good. This is exactly what I want it to be. So things are hunky-dory. As soon as you go to main menu, configuration file, and reset to defaults. So anyway, this is just, this is a long-winded way of saying, if you install RetroArch on Linux for the first time and it doesn't work properly and you, you're not able to download assets and you're not able to fix the fonts, then this is the reason. And your fix is go to main menu, configuration file, download, uh, reset to defaults, and then you got, you're fine. You're good to go. Still, I think that this is uh, this is not good. This is definitely something that needs to be fixed because for all intents and purposes, RetroArch out of the box on Linux, at least on Linux Mint, I can't speak for other distros, is to my mind partially broken. Thank you very much. I will talk to you soon. Bye.